Okay, let's say that we have a beam with a 30 feet span with a load, total load. This includes dead and light load of 550 PLF. Uh, let's calculate our deflections. So, first we have to check our deflection criteria. In this case, let's use L over 360. So we're going to do L times 30 feet, sorry, 30 feet times 12 feet to convert into inches over 360. And this is going to give you a maximum allowable deflection of 1 inch. So our deflection cannot, cannot go beyond that. Oh, and let's use a W18 times 35 beam. So if our deflection goes beyond this, this beam is not satisfactory. Okay? So now let's go into the next step. We're going to use the deflection formula. 5 over 384 times W L to the 4 E to the I. Okay? Now our W, we, we are going to convert it into kips. It's going to be 5 over 384 times 0.55 kips. We're going to divide it by 12 to make it into inches. We're going to multiply it by the length, 30. We multiply it by 12 to make it into inches and raise it to the fourth power. Then we're going to divide. E is 29k, it's steel. And then our I value, you can get it from the manual, you can calculate it, whatever you want. It's 5 then. Alright? So this is going to give us a deflection of 0.678 inches. So in this case, this deflection is less than our allowable deflection. So this beam is good for deflection. Alright, thank you for watching.